let me show you how to use linear scale questions on Google Forms. So follow me to my desktop to show you how right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and this is a video to show you how to use linear scale questions on Google Forms. Now, this is my Google Forms dashboard. And if you are not here or you don't know how to get here, maybe you're on Gmail, Google Drive. Well, let me show you how to get here. So if you click on the Google Apps section here, scroll down and you'll find a purple icon that says Forms. Let's go ahead and select this one and it's going to take you straight to Google Forms. So let's go ahead and jump into a blank form to analyze the linear scale question option, okay? So in this case, this is a brand new form and we are greeted with this first question, which is a multi-choice. But in this case, we want to select linear scale. It's a great option to use to receive a rating of a question that you're going to ask. If it could be a food question, it could be an event question or whatever type of question you want to use to receive that rating. And it works in a scale base. So in this case, it's a linear scale question. So let's get started with a first question to show you how that's going to be previewed to the end user. So let me go ahead and ask something. All right, so this is what we're going to ask. Was the event helpful for your business? In this case, let's just pretend that there was an event. They went through the event and now you send out this form and you need to know on a scale rating, how good was the event? So in this case, the first option that we have is the scale number. Right now, by default, it's one through five, but we can make this zero or one in the beginning and all the way up to two uh, to 10. Now it depends, uh, five would be okay, but maybe you want to allow more room for that rating. Maybe they want to scale a seven, an eight, you give them more options. So let's decide for 10 in this case. And then the label, this is optional. And what the label means is what one means and what 10 is going to mean. So in this case, I gave it this label, not so much for one and very helpful for 10. So this is dependent on the question that we're asking, okay? And we are going to make this required. That means that the purpose of this form is for them to rate this particular question and they'll be not able to skip or fill out the form if they don't rate that question, okay? So here we go, let's go ahead and publish this. Let's go ahead and publish it. Let's grab our link, let's copy this link and let's go into incognito mode. So here we go, here is the scale rating question that we have. Here's the event question. And remember, we have the label for the beginning, so not so much and very helpful. So we understand what one is going to mean and what 10 is going to mean. So in that sense, we are going to rate this scale. So I could say that the event that I went through was uh, okay, but not so fantastic. So I will be rating a seven in this case, and I could go ahead and send it out, right? So just like that, we're able to use the linear scale option here. Now we can change these labels depending on the question. So if it's a different question, we can go ahead and change it, or we can also add an image if we want to. So in this case, there's an image option here, and we have the option to upload our image. We can use the webcam URL, a photo that we have, Google Drive, if we have some images in the Google Drive, or we can use Google Images. So for example, I'll just choose uh, search for business here. And in this case, let me go ahead and select this one right here, which says business. Let's go ahead and insert it, and it's gonna load it in into this particular question. So again, let's go ahead and preview this in incognito mode just to preview this really quickly. And here we go. Now this question has a, an image, right? So I'll just fill this out once again so we can go ahead and preview this data once it's filled out, all right? Okay, so we are done with the linear scale question. Now, how do we preview these responses? Now on the top, there's a tab that says responses. In this case, there's two of these responses and we're able to view a summary of the responses. So we were able to view in a graphic mode here of the two responses that we've just received. One was a five and the second one was a seven. And this is really useful to view at a quick glance what is going on with that particular question, okay? Now we can also view the questions independently here. We're also able to view the individual questions. So this was the first one that was filled out and here's the second one that was filled out. So we're able to view them here really easily. And there's also a Google Sheet that's linked to this form. So let me go ahead and click on this link to Sheets. Let's go ahead and create it. And it's going to add that data into a Google Sheet. And now every time that someone fills out that form, it's gonna add that data right here. So in this case, we have a timestamp and we have the response here. So there's a seven response and there's a number five response here. So again, this will be populated once people fill out the form, which is super useful 
at a quick glance to view this in your responses section or in Google Sheets. The linear scale option here on Google Forms is a fantastic option to use to receive a response where we're going to receive a rating in a scale base, one to five, one to 10, or whatever you decide. But it's a really easy way for someone to respond how they feel about the question that you're asking without having to type in data. It's just selecting the number for the rating. So great option. Now, if you are looking for an alternative that has more flexibility, more options, and more scalability, let me show you job form. So if you jump over to job form, this is my job form dashboard, and we can get started from scratch, or we can get started with a template. So if we head on over to the template section, form templates, there's thousands of templates available. In this case, let me go ahead and search for rating to find templates that are based on the rating question, okay? So here's the customer feedback survey. There's bank ratings, evaluation form, and I can go ahead and preview this template and decide if I want to use it. I can fill it out, I can test it, and I can see how it's going to flow before I actually use it. But if I like it, I can go ahead and use this template. And it just saves us time by using the template because, because we can just go ahead and use the elements that it has already, or we can go ahead and remove them, edit them, or add more elements. Now in the elements section, if we scroll down here, we are going to find scale rating. It has a different name, but the purpose is the same. So for example, if I add a scale rating here, we have the questions one through five by default. We can go ahead and ask the question right here. And we're going to ask the same questions that we did on Google Forms. And for the options, we're going to select this particular element and we're going to go into properties. And in properties, again, we have the field label. We have the options available and we have the label that we're going to give it from number one through five in this case. And you see by default, it has worst and best. We're going to leave it as it is, but we can go ahead and edit this if we like. And then we have the rating option. Select one or go all the way up to 10 again to give them more options for the rating. Okay. And then there's the advanced options. If you want to add some hover text, if you want to shrink this, if you want to hide the field for conditional logic, that is possible here. But in this case, we are good to go. So that is one of the ways that you can use scale rating. And there's also the star rating. So that's also a similar option, but with icons. And with this option, for example, we can say we can ask the same question and we can rate with stars, go to properties, and there's the options here. So we could be, it could be stars, it could be hearts, it could be a light bulb, a lightning bulb, etc. And we're gonna set it all the way up to 10 and we are good to go, okay? So to preview this form, a job form, we are gonna click on preview form. So let's toggle that button on and here we go. So let's go ahead and fill this out with the demo data. Let's select different options here. Here's the scale rating. Let's go ahead and click next. Let's go ahead and continue. There we go, it's been filled out. And let me go ahead and fill it out once for the demo data. Let's go into preview the form. All right, and let's leave it as it is. All right, let's go ahead and submit it. And we're able to preview this submissions in job form tables. So once you're done, you filled it out, you sent that out and people have filled it out. We're able to go to this section for builder. We are going to go to tables and it's going to go, it's going to go to the tables that is tied to this particular form. And in this section in job form tables, we're able to view every single submission in a neat form with tables and columns. We're able to view every single one of these questions that were asked and how they responded. And for example, here's the scale rating. And here's the other question that we asked with icons. And at a quick glance, we're able to view the submissions right here. Now, this is one of the modes that we can preview the data that was filled out. We can also create a new tab right here in case we want to view this in the report form. So let's go ahead and select reports, select the form that we've just created. Let's hit next. We're gonna use compact form just for testing purposes. And in this section, it's going to create a brand new tab with the ratings, but in chart mode, everything that was responded. We can modify this report. We can remove details here that we don't need. And it's just up to us how we want to build our report here. And we can also create tab for different situations, a new table, a calendar, card view, uploads, etc., all from the form that was just created for the evaluation form in this case, to show you how to use the skill rating option. Now to access job form tables from the main dashboard, that is possible too. So in this section, in the form that we've just built, we are going to go to more and we're going to go to submissions and that will take us to job form tables for that specific form again. So it's a really great option to use job form for scale rating. 
But as I mentioned before, this is also a really great option, linear scale on Google Forms. If you need something simple and easy to use, this is a great option. If you want more flexibility and more options, JotForm would be the other option. So I hope you like this video. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about linear scale on Google Forms and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.